hello everyone hope you are all doing well uh, for this video I just wanted to share a little bit of my process um, as far as editing and color correcting goes first off I just want to explain my lighting setup as I know some of you were um, wondering how I was lighting my scenes so for this particular shot, I have a small light panel here on the left hand side. Um, I know you can't see it, it's out of frame, uh, but it is shooting through a shoot through reflector, one of those five in one that you can find pretty cheaply. And so this light is just really diffused because it's shooting through that uh, reflector and it's helping me create this nice little highlight here that you see on the journal. On the left hand side, you also have a nice highlight here. And that is um, just a white foam board um, that is bouncing light back into the scene. Um, you also have two other foam boards. These ones are black um, that I'm using as the foreground here and as the background as well. And so this is a pretty much just a one light setup. So it's very simple and you can scale this up however you need to. So now that the lighting is out of the way, um, how do I edit? How do I color correct these shots to make them look um, a little bit more pleasing? Because right now you can see it looks a little muddy. There's not a whole lot going on here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new node here in DaVinci. And in this node, I'm just going to add a LUT. And this is going to be a conversion LUT, I'm trying to find it here. So it's a utility LUT that is going to convert my S-Log2 from the Sony A7C to a Rec. 709 color space. And I'm just going to use this first one here. So as you can see, that actually did quite a lot. And I was pretty careful when selecting my exposure. I think I was at like ISO 1000 shooting 4K at 24p. I was using the 50, 50 mil 1.8 at about f 2.2. And so this is the exposure that I got. I also applied this LUT to my monitor just so that I know how the shot is kind of going to look like. We're not going to do anything much here. We're going to add a new LUT, I mean a new node. And here we're just going to balance the shot a little bit. So there's quite a bit of red. And overall, I think it needs to be cooled down a little bit. And so a quick way of doing that is we're going to go to the primary wheels, the offsets, and then drag this down just a tad bit. And I think somewhere around there looks good. And we can toggle this on and off and you can see what it's doing. OK, so now I think the whole shot looks a little blue. Um, so on my gain, I'm going to add, I think some orange, some yellow orange, something like that. But then my gamma, or I mean my lift, I'm going to counter that because everything looks too orange now. So in my lift, I'm doing the same thing that I did on my offset. Um, and now in my gamma, these are um, my midtones. I'm going to add a little bit of orange back in. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, this did a little bit of the color grading. I think there's a little bit more that we can do here. I think there's a little too red on the white areas, as you can see here. Um, so I'm gonna take my gain and bring that down. And there we go. That seemed to help that a little bit. Um, we're gonna add another node. I want to play around with my curves. So I uncheck this um, and it pretty much just broke the lock between all the other channels. And I'm going to give it a little bit more light into the midtones and bring my shadows down just a bit, something like that. So overall, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to add another node and I'm going to play around now with our blur. Um, now, I don't want to blur the image. I want to sharpen it. But if you go over to the blur tab, 
Um, you can play around with this and see what it does. If you bring it down, it sharpens it. If you bring it up, it makes it blurry. I'm gonna go to the middle and just drag it down just a little bit. So now I'm adding a little bit of detail to the overall image, but I don't like what it does to the noise because if you exaggerate this, it kind of exaggerates the, the noise too in the background. So I'm gonna keep it where I like it here about 0.47. And then I'm going to go to my second tab here and change my mid-tone detail down just a little bit. And you can see the difference here on the top of the image with the noise, you can see. So I'm gonna leave it somewhere around there. Okay, um, let's see, what else can we do? I want some of these highlights to kind of pop a little bit more. Let's do a glow. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see what it's doing. Um, it's adding a little bit of like a glow to those highlights. Um, I want to play around with the settings here. Um, I want it to spread a little bit more, something like that. I think that looks kind of cool. Um, and then maybe we can play, yeah, that looks good. I'm also gonna add some blend so it doesn't look unnatural. Bring up the brightness. And I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I'm gonna add one more node here and add a vignette. Now that's a little too strong, but I want the softness to be pretty high. My size to be pretty high as well. and we're gonna blend it in. Uh, we also want to add a little bit of color, something like that. And you can see what that does. This kind of makes um, our objects here pop a little bit more. So I, I think overall that looks pretty good. Um, I wonder what we can do. If we change our highlights. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of teal or blue to cool to cool down the highlights here because I know in real life this is pretty white but here you can see it looks a little bit orange and red so I just went the opposite way to clean that up a little bit I'm gonna clean up the the selection here though so I'm gonna denoise it I'm gonna add some blur um, and then if you click shift H, you can see the, the mask that you're working with. And I think, I think I want to constrain it a little bit. Yeah, I don't I don't want this to be affected in any way. Only this. I think that's pretty good actually. So we're gonna undo that and then we can toggle it on and off and see the difference. OK, 
Okay. I th I think I want to go back to my glow because it I think it could be a little bit stronger. Something like that. And then if we look, if we turn all of this off, we can see um, all of the work that we did. This is where we started. We went ahead and converted the s log 2 footage over to Rec 709. We balanced our image, played around with some, con with some contrast. Uh, we sharpened it and removed some of the detail in the midtones, added some glow, added a vignette, turn that back on, and then we finished with fixing our highlights here. Uh, so I think that's where we're going to leave it for now. Let me know if you have any questions, if you want to see anything else specifically. Um, and 